Hi, this is Marcel at Healthy Homemaking, and today I'm making apple crisp, which is a dessert that you can make even if you don't know how to bake or if you're just starting out. It's super easy, as you can see. Um, and if you watch until the end, you'll be able to see just how long it takes, about 10 minutes to put together, and then it's in the oven for about 15 minutes. But what I'm doing right now is that I'm peeling the apple. I have three apples in that bowl that you can see there, and I'm going to peel it and then core it. As you can see, I'm cutting into it. Um, and then you're going to see that I'll cut into it uh, at an angle. So I remove the core uh, and the seeds, and then I'm going to cut it into chunks, which is super easy to do. I am using a paring knife, which makes this a little easier. You can use a chef's knife too, but it might be a little clunky at first. So I'm using a paring knife for this. Um, it's super easy. As you can see, I'm cutting out the core there. And then I keep a sort of a small garbage bowl next to me. It's just a bowl that I use for scraps. Um, um, and that makes it easier. I don't have to go to the trash and come back and um, it just saves time. So um, I'm making chunks of apple there. And like I said, you know, this is easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of time. If you're just getting used to a knife, um, this is super easy as well. So now I have four apples there and now that's an orange. I'm going to zest the orange. And if you're just starting out with baking, you may not have a zester, but you really should get one. It's the easiest way to do it. it probably costs less than ten dollars um, it's super worth it you can get it at walmart at target um, anywhere they sell housewares you'll be able to find it so i'm zesting the orange um, and then you you just wrap it on the on the cutting board like that to get everything from the back and adding it to the apples this gives a wonderful taste you know it's that kind of ingredient that people will not really know that it's there but it makes it taste better and now a lemon i think you need lemon when you use apples especially when the apples are baked um, it's a wonderful citrus flavor um, and then i'm doing the same thing i'm just zesting the lemon um, which um, is going to, you know, have all of the oils, the intense citrus oils of the lemon will go into the apple crisp. And you do that without adding a lot of liquid, which is the best thing to do. So as you can see, I'm trying to get all of the zest that I can. So that's one lemon and one orange for four apples. That's um, the ratio that I like. Um, and then I'm going to add the zest to the apples. Um, and now I'm going to next juice them. So you only need about a tablespoon of juice, tablespoon of orange juice and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Um, and I have that nifty um, juicer there, which makes it very easy. So ta one tablespoon is about half an orange if the orange is that size. Um, you can measure if you want, I don't because with baking, you usually have to be very, um, very good about measuring but um, I don't do it for an apple crisp. It's not, it doesn't have to be like that. Um, so you can relax, which is good. If you're just starting out, um, you can just relax when you're making this apple crisp. It's not, it's not going to have a huge impact on the final product, like it is when you're baking a cake, for example. So now uh, I'm juicing the lemon. So that's also about one tablespoon of lemon that you're going to use. Um, and you know like i said you know the flavor in this when all of these ingredients are together is just awesome uh, because it bakes in the oven for about 15 minutes um, and then of course i have to use some cinnamon so i'm using um, one teaspoon of cinnamon for um, this many apples and this you can double you can make eight apples um, which would probably serve about eight people i figure in about one apple per person so this amount is probably going to serve four people if they're hungry people like my family <laughs> so that was one teaspoon of cinnamon and now i'm going to add about half a teaspoon of nutmeg um, and i don't grate my own nutmeg i just have it in the pantry this is actually a new one so i know that it's potent um, and but you should pay attention to your spices how long you've had them you know check to see the date because they they lose uh, their potency after about one year um so you know just taste them put them on something and taste and see how they taste um now i'm just mixing everything up um and it's going to go into um, a dish after i add the sugar so this is about a quarter cup of sugar uh, white sugar for this uh, and it caramelizes in the oven because it's in the oven for about 15 minutes like i said before um, and uh, that's one of the things you should do you should probably spray your baking dish with pam um and then it will come out really easily for you because the sugar does caramelize it's delicious it's caramel apples <laughs> baked 
baked in the oven so how much better does it get right so i'm adding it to uh, a pretty red dish that i love i think it goes well because it's an apple crisp um so now i'm going to make the topping and in that bowl i have about um half a, a cup of oatmeal and i'm going to add half a cup of brown sugar to that um and half a cup of white sugar as well so you don't need a mixer to do this you can do this in a mixer i'm going to make it by hand as you can see you just need like a fork to mix everything up uh, this is just the topping that's going to go on top of the crisp it's the crisp part of apple crisp so now i'm adding three quarters of a cup of flour white flour all-purpose flour uh, you don't need anything fancy for this so you just mix it up with a fork um and um like I said, you can put this in a mixer if you want. Uh, I have a stand mixer on my counter, but I just didn't feel like using it <laughs> when I made this um, because, you know, there's cleanup every time you use that. So now that there's the butter, you need one stick of butter uh, and I'm going to make it into a dice. So you cut uh, into it lengthwise like I'm doing right there. Um, then you turn it one quarter of a turn and then you cut it lengthwise again. And that's how you make those pretty little um, squares of butter. Um, the reason you do this, uh, if you just got started baking, is so that you can mix it into the flour a little bit more easily with your hands. So um, I'm going to add this to the mixture that we just made and um, try to like rub it in between your fingers. So I cover it with a little bit of flour, as you can see there, and then you just rub it with your fingers like that. And you're trying to make smaller pieces of butter and have it go uh, through the entire apple crisp um, to, through the topping. So um, the mixer does this probably a lot faster than I can do it. But you know, the good thing about this is that you don't have a lot of cleanup. And um, you know, I find it a little awkward to put that big mixer bowl in my dishwasher or I'm going to have to wash it by hand. So I tend to be a little lazy in the kitchen. So even though I've been cooking for 21 years now, you know, the less work that I can come up with for myself, the better because I have a ton of other things to do. So I still want to bake for my family. And um, this was actually uh, on the weekend that I made this but this is a dessert that you can make if you have a little bit of extra time during the week as well because it's so easy once it's in the oven it does take 15 minutes but um, you can just set it and forget it <laughs> you know, if you remember the 90s that commercial set it and forget it um, that's what you can do so it's very it, it babysits itself it's not like a souffle that you will you know have coming out of the oven and you have to serve it right away and it's very labor intensive and you have to watch it and make sure that it's rising correctly there isn't any of that with an apple crisp it's super easy um, it was one of the first desserts that i learned how to make um, i didn't cook before i got married so as soon as I learned how to bake, this was one of the first things that I made. So you just add the topping, you know, it, it looks, it's just the butter rubbed into the flour and the oatmeal. Um, you just cover the apples with that and the little bits of butter melt in the oven and they create a crisp topping. Uh, I'm trying to redistribute the butter a little bit, as you can see there. Um, I'm going to go wash my hands because they're full of butter and then put it in the oven and that's it. Then you just set your timer for about 15 minutes, check on it, see what color you want it to be. Um, you might, you might want it a little bit more brown, then you leave it in for another five minutes or so, but check on it because that caramel, if you don't watch it, tends to burn. If, if it stay, if you forget about it, if you don't set a timer, then um, it might burn. So you have to keep your eye on it after about 15 minutes, but it's super easy. As you can see, I'm cleaning there. Always keep your workspace clean when you're cooking, when you're baking, that's very important. Clean as you go. And that's something that I wanna put on the channel as well. Um, so I'm going to put that in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes, set my timer, and then I will show you the final result as well. Um, it looks great when it comes out and this you can serve with ice cream i served it with whipped cream i didn't have any ice cream in the freezer and there it is that's the final result um this was in the oven for about 53 55 minutes uh, i wanted it to get a little bit browner um always watch your oven make sure that it is the correct temperature by an oven thermometer so you can adjust the time 
So it's very important to keep an eye on the temperature of your oven. Um, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you make this. And um, if you like what you see, please subscribe or hit that like button on the video. That would really help me out. I just started this channel and I'm excited to show you the things that I cook and bake for my family. Thanks.